is one. So this is number four on this pizza bait. That's a good one. That's a snook. What's going on everyone? In today's video, I wanna do a technique that I honestly have used a lot on this channel, but not a lot recently. I think it's been a couple months since I've gone out and kind of exclusively used this technique. So everything is lining up perfectly to go try and use some uh, cut bait underneath some mangroves. It's a very effective technique to catch redfish in the middle of the summer because they try and get into the shade, into the roots of the mangroves, really to get out of the heat and just that structure and there's a lot of bait over there. So it's a very good technique to use here in the summer months. And I haven't done this in a while, so I'm kind of really excited for this, especially on this extremely high tide that I have right now. My personal favorite fish to use as cut bait is pinfish. Mostly because it's very easy to catch them. There's a bunch of different methods. There's like, I guess four different ways you could get pinfish. The first one being going to the bait store and buying them. Second way is to set out a pinfish trap if you have access to the water. You could go out ahead of time, buy a pinfish trap, throw some chum or some like sardines or anything in there and catch some pinfish that way. But probably the most common techniques are the last two, which is using a sabiki rig tipped with either like shrimp or like gulf shrimp, squid, anything like that to catch them, or throwing a cast net. And today I'm gonna start out by throwing a cast net. So right now I'm set up on a grass flat. It's about three and a half, four feet deep. And I'm gonna throw out some uh, dry chum, see if I can chum up some of these pinfish before throwing the net. And you can get this dry chum from any local tackle shop, really. Just walk in and usually just kind of sell them in uh, Ziploc bags. Or you can buy it online in like the five to like 20 gallon size containers. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get some chum ready and then start throwing the net, see if we can get some good sized pins. Go ahead and close this, got the, the live well filling up. Got my cast set right here. I got a new cast net pretty recently. This is a uh, Phytech cast net. I got it at Tailwater Outfitters. And it's been really good for me lately. It's, let me see the specifics on it. It's a 10 foot net with quarter inch mesh, uh, 1.6 pounds per radius foot. So I like it so far. It's a good net. There it is. There's my net. I got my dry chum right here. Have it in this bucket. Take a couple scoops out. That'll be plenty. I come over here and you just want to splash some water in there. And you want to mix it so it gets the consistency of like Play-Doh. That's the consistency I was looking for. Perfect. Now we'll go up to the front of the boat. Start chumming. See if we can get some good sized pins. We're really looking for honestly the biggest pins we could possibly find. So I'm just gonna take my, my dry chum right here, just make little balls like this, and just throw it out here on this flat. I'll do this for about three to five minutes, throwing one every like, I don't know, like 20 seconds. Then eventually you should start seeing some pinfish coming up in your chum and attacking it as soon as it hits the water. Like right now, there's already little pinfish in the chum. That's only my second toss. If you wanna know how I like to throw my cast nets. Did a tutorial video on that not too long ago. I'll have that link down in the description. Here we go. Cast net ready. Go ahead, throw a couple. Up there. And throw it on it. Let's sink to the bottom. See a couple in there, a couple good ones. Didn't kill it on that throw, but I got two good ones and a catfish. Luckily that catfish didn't get uh, stuck in the net. I'll take that. Yeah, this is a good size pin fish right here for cut bait. Perfect size bait. This one will work too. A little bit smaller, but that'll work. The catfish will not work. All right, let's throw a couple more times. Now that I have enough bait for, for me at least, I got four good pins and two good sized greenbacks. I'm gonna go clean up the boat a little bit cause it is dirty and meet you at the first spot. I'm 
made up to the the first spot here it's a spot on the mangroves i haven't been to in a while it's not my go-to honey hole i want to try some other spots here first before i do that i see some fish pushing over there so that's a good sign but wanted to go over the rig i was going to be using this is my pen battle 4000 i got 20 pound braid on here and it's on my saint croix mojo inshore 76 medium power rod for a rig i have about a two and a half foot section of 25 pound fluorocarbon leader tied to a 4-0 circle hook right here with a split shot about an inch above it. You don't really need too much weight and it doesn't need to be too far off. So this is just to make sure that it stays right on the bottom right where I cast it. I'm gonna have the drag pretty tight because there have been some big redfish around here lately. So I'm up in like the, the low 30s, a lot in the upper slot high 20s. So hopefully we can get some bigger ones. We'll probably get some around the 18 to like 22, 23 inch mark. Hopefully we can get a couple big ones. Let's get some baits out there. All right, so I got a good old piece of cut bait right here. Just took the head off and the tail off from a pinfish along with the dorsal fin and anal fins to make sure you get all the, you know, pins off of it. Just to make it as easy as it can be for the pin, or for the redfish to pick it up without getting poked. So now I'm just gonna aim for this little cut in the mangroves, get as far back in there as I can and then it'll become a waiting game. There we go, right in the middle. So now that my bait's in there, I'm just gonna watch the bow in my slack right here and just really watching this for a bite. It's either gonna tighten up on me or it's gonna go slack or start moving left or right. Tide's going out now, was a super high tide and this is kind of best case scenario. So the water's gonna be moving, fish are gonna be moving. It's gonna get that scent all through the roots and. Hopefully a redfish is gonna swim by and find it. But you could also get uh, snook and trout doing this too. Probably next to the mangroves, it's either gonna be a redfish or a snook though. Oh! I just started the move. I went to go open my bail and got absolutely hammered. All right, there's fish in there. All right, got another piece of cut bait. That fish did not seem small. That was just bad timing. Let's see if we can get another one to bite. One ate it immediately. How'd I miss it? Okay, there's fish in there. Can't believe how fast that fish ate. Probably gonna split these uh, big pins into two baits. I switch hooks too. Wasn't a big fan of that uh, Gamagatsu 4.0, missing those fish. So I got a 3.0 trocar on there now. See if this will get them. There we go. I can't believe how fast that last one ate. Oh, oh, got him this time. Seems like a decent red. Keep an eye on these dolphins. Oh, geez, is he bigger than I think? Got some dolphins over there, so I gotta be careful. Not a bad red. Not a bad red at all. Again, ate super quick. There's so many dolphins over there chasing the mullet. I gotta be careful of this guy. Oh yeah, not a bad one. Probably 24, 25. Oh my God. These dolphin. I'm gonna see if I can Okay. I want to make sure this dude's gonna be fine with these dolphins. Come on, come on over here. He's a thick one. Not a bad redfish. With the dolphins right there. Gonna hang on to him for a little bit, but that's probably a 24, 25 inch red on a piece of cut bait. Let's get a measurement on him as these dolphins go by. 25 inches. I just had a good feeling going into today that cut bait was going to be the move and 
it's quickly producing with three baits in three quick bites finally got one a 25 inch redfish right here fat guy too very healthy fish it's good to see after all this red tide activity we've been having around the area but i'm gonna get the reason uh, i'm gonna get the release on him quickly he's already kicking those dolphins are up around the corner so we're good now there he goes see you dude you can see him right there in the grass got the other half of that big pinfish see if we can get another one quickly There's one little guy. Not as big, but again, it's super quick. I'll be like 19, 20 inches. They're eating so fast right now. I can loosen up on him now. He's out in the middle. These fish are hungry in there right now. They might be bigger than I thought. Like low 20s. Yeah, I'm going like 21, 22. Again, a super thick fish. Come on over. Another super healthy redfish. He's 22 inches. 22 inch redfish. We'll get the release on him, see if we can get a bigger one. See you, dude. Another piece of bait right here. Get the hook in it. Let's get it back in there. Let's see how many reds we can pull out of this hole. Right back in there. I like how I missed two fish on the the first hooks I had and then switch hooks and I haven't missed a fish since then. Honestly, it's good when pinfish are pecking at it like they are right now. Uh, just that little bit of extra action around the bait and also just help get some more scent in the water with them tearing away at it. There's one. Like I said, he wanted to see what the pinfish were pecking at. Come on over here. How big is this one? Ah, smaller. This one might be that 18, 19 I was talking about. Come on up. Come on, get out from under the boat. There he is. He's got a very blue tail. Yeah, about 19, 20 inches actually. Saw a little guy. That's three redfish and two missed redfish in probably 20 minutes of fishing. Not bad. Yep. Oh, you weren't ready yet. Solid guy right there. Look at the blue in his tail right there. That is so cool. I heard it's from eating a lot of crustaceans. That's one of the theories. Another theory is just like they're active. I don't really know. I don't think it's really any concrete answer to that, but it's cool to see. Get the measurement on right quick. I'm going 19. There. Oh no, he's a little bit bigger. He's 21 inches. Skinny 21, but still a solid fish right there. Let's get the release on him. See you, dude. Get the other half that big pin fish when you get those real big ones and they're eating like they are right now you can use halves that way the four pins that i have granted this is my last piece of bait but those four pins that i got last me a couple bites let's get it in there right there that'll work Turn my drive back down immediately jesus they are hungry right now this is immediate this is wild 
it's another like smaller one probably 19 low 20s i say all these are 19 and they all come up like 21. he's digging it into the grass oh let's see if we can keep my bait that'll be clutch come on all right this one's the smallest one of the day by far but he ate within seconds of that being in there See if I can keep my bait. And I kept my bait. That was a dark one. Oh yeah, that is a very copper redfish right there. Get the measurement on him. 20 inches. Another little 20 inch fish. I wanna get some of these bigger ones, but can't complain when I'm catching fish this quickly and these uh, little cuts right up there. This has to be one of the best ways to catch fish in these uh, hot summer days. See you, dude. That was so clutch being able to keep this bait. Let's see if we can get another one. It's like soft, all the scales are off of it. Let's get another bigger one. One at least over 25. Right there. There's one, immediately. What is, like, this is honestly wild how quickly, there's another one, like, followed mine out. Another one followed mine out trying to eat the, the piece of uh, pinfish hanging from the line. This is wild. Again, I might be able to keep my bait. It's still hanging on the line. There was another one about the same size, so not a big one, but followed him out trying to eat the, the pinfish off the line. Come over here. Another one about 20 inches. These fish are eating so quickly right now. I really almost don't even want to waste time just kind of like filming, so I'm gonna get a quick release on this guy and get him back in the water. See you, dude. And I kept my bait. Let's see if we can get three redfish on the same piece of pinfish. I missed those two fish at the very beginning with the other hooks, the Gamagatsus, and then tied on this trail car and really seemed to make a big difference. Let's get back in there, see if we can get that other one that was chasing it out. There's a snook right here. If I would've saw him earlier, I would've put on that uh, live greeny. I probably would've got him. There's one. Got another red, another redfish. Out of the same hole. I've caught what? What will this be, my, my fifth, sixth? I don't even know anymore. Redfish using four pinfish that I caught. This is wild. This is not a bad one either. This is bigger than those other ones. We'll loosen up on him now he's out here. There he is. Solid fish. Kept my bait again. My third redfish on the same piece of pinfish right there. He's got the two spots on this side, one on this side. Very pretty fish, probably about 22, 23 inches. Let's get the release on them. This is unreal how many redfish I'm pulling out of this one hole and how quickly they're eating. And I'm just getting lucky with keeping the bait and they keep eating, so let's keep going. You can hear them drumming. He's almost ready. He's almost ready. See you, dude. I have successfully caught three redfish on this one piece of bait, going for number four right now. Feels like pinfish right now. Nope, not pinfish. Definitely not pinfish. 
Didn't really tighten my drag back down. But this is number four on this piece of bait. This is one of the best little sessions of cut bait fishing I've done in a, at least in a very long time. How big is this one? Oh, another one, like low 20s. I just didn't tighten my drag down like all the way like I did on the other ones at the very beginning. Looks like my piece of a uh, cup bait is finally gone after four redfish. Come on over here. Unless it's just in his throat, I couldn't tell. Yeah, this is not a bad one. Another thick one for his size, with a big head. No, the piece of cut bait's gone. Rip. <laughs> That's a solid one right there. Probably like 23, 24. 22 inches. The vast majority of these fish have been in the low 20s with that one that was like 24, 25. But these are all very solid fish and you cannot complain when they're eating as quickly as they are right now. Get them back in the water. Wash that off for you, bud. He's already ready to go. There he goes. See you, dude. Got one more greenback left, I'm pretty sure. Last bait right here. The back half of that last greenback. It's already been an epic day, but let's see if we can cap it off with one more good redfish. All right, I'm in there. This is just a unreal day of fishing right here you guys have to try there's one that's a good one that's a snook it's not a bad snook either come on that is not a bad snook not a bad way to end the day got him out now not a bad snook on the piece of cut green back up there that might have been the same snook I saw earlier. Immediately knew that wasn't a redfish when it came up and jumped like that. And tire himself out, out here. Let's gotta keep an eye on the potential dolphins over there. Dolphin loves snook. Yeah, not a bad fish at all. Might be better, I think. Yeah, that might be like upper 20s. Come on over here. Troll car around the corner of the mouth. And I got him. Not a bad way to end the day right there. That was a nice snook. Go over here and get a measurement on him. Dolphins are right there, so I gotta be careful with this guy. Right there. This is a that's a slot snook. That's 28 and a half inches. Beautiful fish. 28 and a half inch snook right here to end the day on cut bait of all things. Like this goes to show you how versatile cut bait can be, especially up here on the mangroves on high parts of the tide during the summer. So let's get a quick release on this guy. It's been an unreal day. Since there's dolphins all around, I moved right up next to these uh, mangroves to see if I could get a good release on them back right into the the root. Oh, yeah. There she goes. See you, dude. 